You ready? Let's go. another day good morning we are still in Palo Duro Canyon uh, State Park here in Texas and uh, we've decided to do a little bit of a hybrid if you watched the last video you know that we weren't sure exactly what we were going to do with our time well we decided to stay here for sunrise and in fact we're going to do just a little bit longer we're going to go back down into the canyon uh, the Sun just came up we got a nice sunrise but I'm thinking there might be some kiss light on some of the higher elevations when we get down in the bowl. Car going by. So we're going to go back down, maybe get some rim light or kiss light that's kind of happening down in the canyon. You can see down there is where our campsite was. And then, uh, and then we're going to head over to Cadillac, Cadillac, Ranch. Cadillac Ranch, you know, got all the cars sticking up. So originally we were going to be there actually for sunrise, but I don't think it's a location that's worthy of uh, sunrise. We thought this was better. And then we'll be heading down the road again. So uh, yeah, here we go. There you go, Cadillac Ranch. This is gonna be our last stop in Texas. Alana and I were going to, or we were thinking about from the parking lot here, having second breakfast. All we had was a cliff bar this morning to watch sunrise. Uh, now we are headed to White Sands National Park in New Mexico. So we're gonna be kind of heading south and I'm looking really forward to it. As far as this location goes, you know, it is exactly as it was photoed. It's not like it's a national park or something super amazing. It's certainly not anything nature or landscape related, but it's one of those things that when you see it on the TV or something, it's nice to be able to say, I've been there, and now Alana and I can say, hey, we've been there. So we're headed off now. Now, before I head down that way, I want to go back to the Sao Paulo Canyon, or sorry, the Paulo Duro Canyon 
State Park. And I want to say, listen, if you're in the area, by all means, stop. I wished Alana and I had allocated an extra day just to hang out there because it was super awesome. Uh, I actually put it in line with like a national park quality park, similar to Valley of Fire and um, up north in Arizona. Actually, I think it's Nevada, but uh, regardless, it's that level of park. So I do highly recommend it, but we're gone from there, heading down south to a national park. Here we go. Alana and I found a little detour. Now, one thing that you might not realize is we're actually really kind of into the whole Roswell alien. In fact, I think our favorite show is uh, Ancient, Ancient Aliens. <laughs> so um, when we found that this was literally right on the way, <laughs> when we found this was literally right on the way, we had to stop. We had a little fun in town. And now I think we're finally headed back to uh, White Sands. Yes. That being said, we picked up some souvenirs, which yep. included a new trip mascot. So um, we you'll have to, named you'll have, him. we haven't named him yet, but you'll have to tell us when you spot him in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to White Sands National Park. That's right, it is a park, even though uh, what you'll find, even on the signage here and a lot of places still calls it a national monument. It was 2019, so just last year, it uh, made the transition from a national monument to a national park. Alana, I've been here for about an hour and a half. We've hiked uh, approaching two miles in the dunes, just about six miles in, and we stopped and got out. I have taken a few photos. This is one of those places that's frankly so serene um, and so epic that it does become hard to find photographic compositions. Uh, and it's interesting, you say, oh, look at that lone bush or that lone tree. And then when you walk over there, it's, it's, it's not by itself. It's not. Um, so yeah, I can't say enough about this. We're gonna camp here pretty, we're gonna um, just wild backpack, wild country, whatever the different states call it different things. But we're gonna, we're gonna camp here pretty close um, and then we're going to be back in the morning before we start making our way north. Uh, so yeah, uh, I might have a little bit more B-roll. I'll share those images and then uh, I'm likely to talk to you again tomorrow morning. So good night.
Well, good morning. We are back at White Sands National Park, and what a beautiful morning. It's, uh, what's the temperature, honey? 51? 51 degrees. It's kind of weird. Doesn't really feel too bad to me. Of course, Alana's cold because she's always cold, but um, we were the first ones in the park this morning. Uh, in fact, we were waiting at the gate when they let us in. We had the drive all the way in, 100% to ourselves. We are in the back, and I'm going to spin here just a little bit. You can kind of see in the background. It's just absolutely awesome, and it's really cool to have uh, to have a place like this completely to your to your own to yourself, even if it's only for a little bit. Um, as you saw in my 360, the sun has already come up, and that's because the park opens at 7 a.m., or at least when we visited, the park opened at 7 a.m., which is exactly when the sun was set to rise. Um, yeah, and then it's about a 20-minute drive all the way back to where we are now. Last night went really well, although third time was the charm. Our first two campsites were closed off for COVID restrictions that we had found, and we ended up in a, a third that was fine, but it was literally just a trailhead parking lot, and then there was some parking lot act activity that, while there was nothing wrong with it, it kept me from getting to sleep for a while. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go off and walk about, spend maybe four or five hours here before we start making our way north, uh, north through the country. And I'm not sure what we're going to get into, but uh, I am looking forward to it. So say hi, Alana. Hi. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> here we go. There you go, White Sands National Park, upgraded last year from National Monument, even though the sign back there still says monument. Uh, wrapping up this trip, uh, or at least portion. this portion that you have seen here, uh, White Sands, I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. I would even make a detour to make your way down here. Yep. Um, one thing that I would suggest is leave yourself a couple of days uh, there's a town about 45 minutes to an hour um, that way, which is a little bit west, and then a little bit east there's another town, so you could find a hotel. There is camping and a lot of other options, mm -hmm. because really the time to be here is either early morning when they open or right towards the end when they go to close, so that may be another couple of days. Another reason to do that is this is really close to missile testing in a military base where sometimes they shut down mm -hmm. for a day or two for or something hours. like that yep. for hours. So um, you, might need to, you might need to allow for that a bit. Also back at Palo Duro Canyon yep. State Park that was in this, same kind of thing there. Leave yourself a little bit more time than you think you anticipate with a state park. Absolutely worth a stay. Campground is absolutely magnificent. Yes. And other news in this video is Roswell, we got a new little buddy. Um, ah, I'm going hang him. <laughs> his, his official name is Hank. Hank. So this is Hank. He's now the mascot for the trip. So that's it for this video. We are now heading north and we're not sure to where. Nope. So to find out where, well, check out next week for now. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. One thing I forgot to say is if you're going to hike and do a lot kind of off-grid and try to get out where you get a lot of that open white sand as Alana and I did, you want to make sure you pack something or make arrangements to have some GPS track recording so you can find your way 
back to your car. Because when you're walking, walking up and over the dunes, you end up finding yourself walking on a ridge, it's really easy to sort of wind your way around and then not be exactly sure where or how to get back. Alana did really good at orienting uh, which direction the truck was, but normally I'm very good at that and I wasn't here. I, I actually did a very poor job of that. So, um, like I say, get some sort of GPS where you can know that you're walking back to where you parked your car or get something that's recording your track. I used my phone and we also have a Garmin inReach uh, that we do all of our recording. So we used both of those so we had some redundancy there. Because like I say, once you get a couple miles out, uh, it can be hard to find your way back. And I do recommend getting a couple miles out for those empty footprint shots. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for following along. And since you made it to this little bonus section, <laughs> Thumbs up to you. I'm not even worried about you giving me one. I'm just happy you did it. So there you go. Bye-bye.